Hey folks, Brandon here with Tinkered Gaming, and today we're going to play a little game called Deadbolt. Now this is a game that I stumbled across in my Steam queue, and it looked pretty intriguing, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, it appears to be some sort of gunpoint type game, in that it's a side-scroller, 2, 2.5D two type action stealth game. Um, the Steam description says that you play as a Reaper trying to quell the recent Undead Uprising. Whether that means you play as the Grim Reaper, or just a guy reaper that reaps people i'm not exactly sure uh the character avatar has a skull head but that could just be a mask a la hotline miami style so we're gonna jump right in here and start it up and see what we have another night kill all undead okay so a and d moves w all right no jumping i guess w goes up the stairs let's see yep e pick up knife okay Ooh, what does right click do? I raise it above my head. Can I throw it? Maybe. Stab, stab. Let's see. Can I throw it? Oh, I can throw it. Get another knife out of the block there. Oh, look, I guess that's what this tutorial right here is telling me. Alright, um... E to open door, R to knock. Haha! <laughs> I have to stab these guys a whole lot, which I guess is probably because they're zombies? Um... Yeah, they're definitely zombies. Alright, so this is telling me that I have to throw the knife at this guy. And he's dead. No problemo. What's this? 32 revolver. Oh shit. Ah, god. Well, that was unexpected. I didn't even see that guy coming up the stairs. Alright, let's try this again. Throw, grab. Knock. Stab. And... Throw. Grab this revolver here. Wait for this guy to come upstairs. And he's dead. God, the headshots are so satisfying. It's just about any game you play, headshots are always satisfying. Um, hello, hello, I'm here to murderize you. All right, not too bad. Uh, we're still in this tutorial. Uh, e to enter vent. Okay, apparently I turn into some kind of crazy smoke monster. Which I suppose lends a little more credibility to the I'm the Grim Reaper and not just some weirdo in a hockey mask. I'm not wearing hockey pads. Alright. Um, let's get this dude over here. Can I just punch? I can punch. Ah! <laughs> I just beat the shit out of that zombie. Just punched the hell out of him. Uh, where does this man go? Here. Pick up 9mm. Scroll wheel or spade. Okay, so I can switch between weapons. Uh, looks like I have ammo up here, so I need to be mindful of that. This vent will get me down here. Damn it. We shot each other. Alright, let's try this again. Dead. Dead, dead. Shit. Dead. Oh, dead. And I believe that's everybody. Alright, next. Dead simple. <laughs> I died twice. Five kills. 100% accuracy. 75% headshots. And I got five stars. Which is good, I suppose. Uh, oh, you're finally back. Is this... It looks like a candelabra with a candle that's burning in its head. Interesting. Alright, what else we got here? Sit and talk. Let's talk. Ooh, fire. The flames roar to life and a voice speaks out. Another life well returned. Mission. My candles tell me tales. Undead form and blossom. Find their abode and knock and free them from their jails. The flames never spoke in prose before. Okay. Alright. Intel. Undead are the easiest to kill when they're alone. Alright. That's pretty self-explanatory. The fire licks and sneers. Undead, zombies included, must be helped towards the afterlife. Yep. So, again... My mission in life is to kill zombies, or my mission in death, I should say. Alright, what mission we got here? Alright, looks like, what, uh, five, seven, eight, nine missions total? So that's fairly short and sweet. We should be able to plow through them pretty quickly. Ooh, there's a lot of zombies there. Alright, what are my options? Can I beat this guy to death? Shit! Oh my god, well that didn't work at all. Apparently they can hear you when you beat somebody to death. 
Alright, we'll pick up this gun here. Dead. Open the door. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Ah, damn it. Alright. One more time here. That actually worked fairly well. Shoot in the head. Shoot in the head. Get shot in the head. That didn't work as well this time. Alright, let's try a different approach. Oh, I can turn the light off. Damn it. I need to keep the light off, though. Oh, look, there's a damn vent right there. Alright, let's get the pistol first. Sneak that out here in the vent. Hello? <laughs> I just love doing that. Come on upstairs, guys. Ah, damn it. Gotta have better aim. Alright, we can do this. Come on upstairs, I dare ya. Alright, this takes care of all those guys, but I'm out of ammo. However, there's this pistol right here. Ha! Turn the light off too. Knock knock. Alright, one more. We're gonna beat you to death. Ah, uh, take it bitch, take it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now let's get the hell out of here. All right, four stars. What? Oh, I did die seven times. So I guess that makes up for some stuff. Huh, I could turn the music on and off. That's pretty awesome. Alright, talk to me, sentient fireplace. The flames roar to life. The undead begin to crop strange powders from below. Incite the flame, eject their brains, and see what it contains. I love that the... that First off, I'm a skull-headed Grim Reaper taking orders from a talking fire, which speaks in prose. So, that's an interesting concept. Let's see, there is a bouncer on the far side of the house. I can kill him to get to his weapon. A new drug called Ash. His candles say that it makes you feel like you're alive again. The Flames, my employer, wants to know more. Bouncer. Large zombies with shotguns. Takes a few shots to the head to bring them down. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be getting a new enemy type in this next level, which is good, because that'll help mix things up. The zombies are selling strange drugs. Find out what it is. Sparkles. Alright. Bouncer zombies seem terrifyingly huge. What is this? A hammer. <laughs> I like it. Alright, let's go in the vent here. Where does that get us? Okay. Alright, it said these guys take a few shots in the head to kill. Oh my god! Well, and they apparently have a solid off shotgun. So. Need to be a little quicker on the draw there. Three shots to be exact. Oh, I can only carry two weapons? Alright, I want Oh god, oh god, no! Ah! Damn it! Oh. Come on downstairs, I'm waiting for you this time. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh shit, shit! That was close. They almost got me. Yeah, I showed them though. Alright, not too bad so far. I really like the hammer because I can hit the hell out of people. Oh shit. I didn't even realize there was a guy there. And he saw me. Yeah, so I can like beat the hell out of people with a hammer, which is kind of nice. It's a little bit faster than actually like taking a swing at him with my fist. Watch, watch, ready? Ah, bitch! Two swipes with the hammer and you are toast. Alright, we're almost out of ammo for the revolvers. So we'll go ahead and swap it out for the pistol. 
I think there's only this one guy left. Um, make that no guys. Oh, wait, yeah, there's still one guy over here. Vent, where will you take me? Up here. Well, that was pretty fucking useless, wasn't it? Alright, I gotta come all the way back down. Oh, nope, there's two guys left. Ooh, let's get the shotgun. Yeah. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Alright, return to my car. Where is my car? My car is way over here. Do I really have to go all the way back through the house? Alright, two deaths, ten kills. And my rank is three stars. I thought I did a whole lot better than that. The flames roar to life and I see visions inside. The fireplace begins to speak. Flesh caskets breathe, burn the ash, scatter their teeth. I see two entrances to the house. The left entrance has less zombies, but the right entrance has more weapons. My choice. I see visions of Charon. Charon? 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 I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. Uh, Charon, the ferryman. He may be interested in the souls I've collected for our mutual employer. I should see him at the docks before my next mission. Charon lives at the docks. I can exchange souls for weapons before I accept my mission. Yeah, so it definitely looks like I'm the Grim Reaper, and apparently the sentient fireplace that I've been talking to is, in fact, the devil. So I'm about to go make a midnight arms deal with Charon, the ferryman, so I can kill more zombies. Definitely an interesting premise. All right, let's see. Huh? Death and taxes. You know. The only thing is certain in life is death and taxes. Revenant. High damage but loud. Extremely powerful headshots. Holds five bullets. Nine mil I can afford the 9mm pistol. I have 50 souls up here. A suppressed 9mm. That's nice. An SMG. Tactical SMG. Shotgun. Suppressed. A sight. That's what I want. Um... I think I'm going to buy the hammer, because I really like the hammer. Ooh, and I have enough to get the 9mm pistol, too. So, there we go. Actually, do I have enough to get something else? Nah, we'll save it up. Yeah, we'll save, so that we can get some of the better weapons later on. Alright, let's pick our new mission here. Alright, there is definitely a bunch of zombies here. Um, like they said, the right has less zombies. Um, ooh, change weapons. That's right, I have new weapons now. I can only carry two at a time, so... To ration them, but... I don't know, the right looks like it has about the same amount of zombies as the left. I don't know what that intel was talking about. What happens if I come up while this dude's sitting on the toilet? He explodes. That explains so many things. Um, okay. I'm not gonna do this. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Get it! Ah! Oh, 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 that was close. That was real close. Killed their asses, didn't I? Come downstairs, please. Come downstairs so I can murderize you. Die, bitch! Oh shit, shotgun guy. Come on, bro, come on, bro. No, close the door! Ah, shit! Did I just... I, I, I think I killed myself. I think I closed myself in the damn door. Do I have to... Yeah, okay. Alright, still got the hammer equipped. So we're good there. Kill those guys. Let's turn the light off. Seems like a good idea. That was terrible. Alright. Pick up the saw it off. Is this guy coming downstairs? I got a surprise for him if he does. Hammer time! Come on, bro. You know you want a piece. I love the blood splatter everywhere. It gives a nice striking contrast with the colors. There we go. I'm doing great this time around. Okay, saw it off. And fire. Close the door. Hello? Hello? I just shot your friend in the face. Please come open the door. 
Oh. Right against the door. Bam! Oh, yeah. All right, now we'll pick up this 9mm here. Oh, I forgot that I was actually supposed to be doing something in this mission. Why not? I'm supposed to burn these drugs. Burn the drugs. Burn all the drugs. All right, so far so good. Doing halfway decent this time around. All right, this guy got his back turned. Come on, come upstairs. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, let's turn the light off. Now they can't see me. Haha, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Alright, looks like all we got left is Big Daddy downstairs and his drug cash. Oh shit! Ah, damn it! You know, oh shit! Ah, damn it! Alright, we got this. Let's try going this side this time. here about to go hack and slash on these bitches yeah <laughs> doing much better this time going the right side was definitely the way to go Alright, can I go back and pick up this knife again? Because I'd really like to just knife the baseball guy, because I don't want to waste the ammo. Oh, burn the drugs. Those guys are hard to kill. I don't think I need to kill these guys anymore. Oh yeah, look, the car's already started. Alright, let's just go get back in the car. Actually, no, I want to kill everybody. Downstairs, so I can knife ya. I'll actually, move forward by a knife. Interesting. There we go. Killed everybody. Cause that's how the Reaper do, yo. All right, let's see my score. Five deaths, fourteen kills. Yeah, I probably got a low score. Oh, actually, four stars. It's more than I thought. We're up to seventy souls now, which is awesome. Speak to me, Lucifer. You see visions of a man. Puff. No moment to flee. He should not be here. A man with a heart cannot live with me. I'm, I'm terrible at speaking in prose. Sorry about that. Intel. The candles tell me that Puff keeps an old machine gun in his basement. Something he stole from the Tridads. Heh, <laughs> Tridads. I'm sure it still works. Shadows cast along the wall and the flames show me silhouettes of Puff's death. This is the first time my employer has given me a specific target, and I succumb to the thrill. Alright, apparently I like the carnage, so let's go see what good old Puff Daddy had for me. A uh, low-level dealer, Puff, might know about their supplier. Kill him. Alright, so I have a specific zombie that I have to go for in this map. I'm guessing it's him. Roland. I think he's here. Oh god, they know I'm here, really? All right, we got our hammer already. Come on, buddy. Close the door. Oh, 
Ah, oh, damn it. Got me anyway. All right, this one's gonna be tough. Maybe I can get in there and turn the lights off while they're not looking. Yeah, that sounds like an idea, doesn't it? All right, go back the other way. Oh, shit, they just shot randomly and killed me anyway. Come on, I can do this. Damn it. No! Oh, shit. Ah! Suck it, suck it, suck it. Ooh, 10mm pistol. Check drawers. The desk has a filing cabinet. Maybe there is useful information here. Open files. Pull open the filing cabinet. There are two separate tabs. Stuff. It's full of loose papers. Paper. Basic finances. Blah. A letter outlining Puff's frustration in the gang. Poorly drawn picture of a naked vampire. Ooh la la. Labeled important people. There are addresses scribbled across the top. Blah blah blah, address address. These must be the addresses of the Zombie King's houses. Useful. Indistinguishable scribbles. Useless. More stuff. You pull open the drawer and inside is a pamphlet and an embossed coin. Can I take the pamphlet and the embossed coin? Alright, so that was definitely a harder level. I slammed my face into that several, several times. Um, well, let's see exactly how many times I managed to slam my face into that. Puff. Took me 12 and a half, or almost 13 minutes. I died 36 times. I still managed to get five stars, which is very impressive in my opinion. Probably because I had 90% accuracy and 38% headshots, but all in all. Um, all right, guys. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So far, it seems like an extremely fun game. It's it's a little, uh, you know, like I said, it reminds me a lot of Gunpoint, which I absolutely loved. It's one of my all-time favorite really quick games. I, I sat down and played it. All in one sitting, um, which I can't quite do with this one. But if there is only nine missions, which it seems a little short, I think maybe there might be another section after this. I don't know. But even if there is only nine missions, I'm, I'm about halfway there. So like I said, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Drop a comment in the comment section if you want to chat. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. And as always, until next video, stay heavy, brothers.